what do you know? It's Monday. We're going to tell you the biggest nerd news stories today. Hey, buckle up, baby. Click. A new Star Trek TV show is happening. New pics from the Warcraft movies out. And Call of Duty has put out a kick-ass trailer. But first, here's some quick stories you nerd to know. <laughs> Our new Spidey, Tom Holland, has hit the webs, oink, and posted a pic to his Instagram showing off the effects of hitting the gym. The 19-year-old used to be a little on the lean side with a cropped haircut, but his transformation into high school Peter Parker means that he's got muscles to fill out the Lycra Spidey suit and the traditional Peter Parker haircut as seen in the Ultimate Spider-Man comics and cartoon. Do you like like it? We want to know. Leave your comments below. Mm, I think he's too buff. I don't like it. <laughs> well, I want to see him in action though. Next up is news that Peter Capaldi isn't going anywhere and will remain the Doctor in the long-lasting series Doctor Who for now. Rumors are circulating that he may be leaving because Jenna Coleman has left, but writer Stephen Moffat has spoken up by saying the walking corpse. They were your words. That's what you said. I mean. He looks like he's died like six years ago. I mean, you said he looked like he died though. <laughs> and then I said he looked like a walking. He looks more like the thing on Hellboy in the Hellboy movie when Hellboy's The like, corpse? Yeah, Peter Capaldi grows a beard, yeah, for sure. Listen, I love Peter Capaldi, okay? Yeah, he's good. He just is a little old. But he's gonna be back. I'm ready. In fact, he said that the show isn't gonna end anytime soon with a five year plan already mapped out and could even extend beyond that. Woo! Who? Okay. Woo, Doctor Who! Nope, okay. And in the final quick bit of news, remember when we said that there were still PC bugs in Batman Arkham Knight? Well, even though they spent months trying to fix it all and even re-release the game, still with bugs, they've realized that they fucked up! So to make things right, Warner Brothers Interactive is offering a full refund, regardless of how long you played the game. You've got until the end of this year to obtain the refund. Now, don't be deterred if you haven't yet played the game and you're kind of like, but it looks so cool. Maybe just grab it on console instead, where it's good. Yeah, I enjoyed it thoroughly on <laughs> PlayStation 4. No problems whatsoever. Great game. Call of Duty is Launching on the 6th of November, and in true tradition of the game, they've launched a star-studded trailer. Now, the concept focuses on your average gamer, Kevin, who's been transported into the game to be a war soldier. Nay, a hero. Nay, an epic war god that unleashes the power of destruction. Can't wait for that to be a gif of my face. Uh if you don't believe us, then luckily for you, we've got Michael B. Jordan to narrate just how freaking rad this Kevin guy is when it comes to explosive warfare. Hey, Michael Jordan, I love basketball. No, Michael B. Jordan. Be with it, okay, buddy. No, it's Michael is Jordan. Michael <laughs> B. That's just bad grammar. Michael B. Jordan, man. <laughs> that is until Cara Delevingne comes up to take him out effortlessly. <laughs> Now, if this doesn't prove that Activision has massive budget because they make shit tons of cash, then guess what? Activision makes shit tons of cash with these games, in mm. case you didn't know. Hey, moving on to movies, we've got three. Ha three. Ha three. New images of Duncan Jones' Warcraft movie. Ha three. We've said that. Three times. Oh no, four now. Empire Magazine has published another glimpse at the flick, which is exciting since news on this movie has kind of been a little light lately. Mm -hmm. And we get to check out Dorutan, the lead orc who looks absolutely nothing like the actor who plays him, Toby Kebbell. He's got some epic teeth rings and studs. Ew, I didn't know teeth rings was a thing. No, I shouldn't be. Plus, we check out another pick of the human king, Lane Wren, or Ryan, played by Dominic Cooper. Plus, there's a wicked new poster, Humans vs. Orcs. And if that's not enough, we'll be getting a full trailer this Friday the 6th from BlizzCon. Are you still even excited for this movie? We'd love to hear your thoughts. I want to go to BlizzCon. I'm going. Really? Yeah. Why? Oh. And lastly, Shrekky fans are in for a treat. CBS has announced that a new TV show is currently in development and you can expect it as soon as January 2017. There's no better time to give Star Trek fans a new series than on the heels of the original show's 50th anniversary celebration, said David Staff, president of CBS Television Studios. They promise the series will boldly go where no first-run Star Trek series has gone before, by distributing it to fans through CBS All Access, their on-demand service. Oh, that's cute. CBS is trying to get on the Netflix game. Mm -hmm. It's so adorable. Yeah. Look at them try. So yeah, technically it's not going to be on the network. Wait. The main station. Wait, wait, it's not gonna be on, wait, it's just gonna be like in a Netflix type format? Yeah. So kind of like a straight to DVD, or sort of like an Arrested Development type thing, where it's like, they have the whole series on a thing? Uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm gonna guess yes, like, what they do with Netflix original content, sure, yeah. you know, like Daredevil, they yeah. put it all out. Yeah. But Daredevil is not shit. No. So maybe this Star Trek will be pretty good. Mm. I'm not yeah, sure. maybe, but look at them trying to do the Netflix thing. It's so cute. I think we just have to come to terms that uh, consuming television is just changing to be a digital only medium. Yeah, I guess it'll just live long and prosper there then. That was
was great. Now, is this a smart move from CBS, or is this all a smokescreen for a substandard show? Share your opinions. And that's it from us. And while you're on the web, maybe open up a new browser and pop in forhumanpeoples.com to check out the latest apparel available. There's some wicked Star Wars tights that I may have my eyes on. There's plenty of stuff for dudes and your laptop slash phones as well. And you can even get these raptor leggings. <laughs> Clever gal. Oh, you. Forhumanpeoples.com, do it. And if you're buying for the first time, just use the code SFNERD in the checkout for 10% off your entire purchase. Makes me want to go. I mean, oh, so, oh. so obviously the Velociraptors. <laughs> That's a kitchen scene, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> run, run. Oh, oh. Star Wars Battlefront game about to hit the shelves. The team behind this Darth Maul games think that EA and Disney should definitely consider bringing this game back to life. There are a few complications with this idea, of course. Disney is pretty much dusting the prequels under the let's not talk about it rug. And with that comes the uncertainty of whether Maul is still around, even though, spoilers, he comes back in the Clone Wars series. Guess being cut in half and then falling to that pit doesn't kill him. I totally underestimated the power of the dark side. side.